it's Demi and tonight I am at Disney's Beach Club Resort. Tonight I'm going to be dining at Cape May Cafe. This is a buffet here at Beach Club only steps away from Epcot. They offer breakfast with some characters like Minnie Mouse and her friends and dinner is no characters. Dinner is $46 per adult and $27 per child. I've never eaten here before. I've always heard like pretty good things about this place so I'm excited to check it out. We're going to see the entire buffet and try out all of the most unique items here and see if this is a place maybe worth coming to. Maybe it's a big sleeper hit. It's also really close to Epcot so maybe it's a good option to get away from the crowds and come dine at a cute little place. So let's head inside, let's try this buffet and let's get into some hijinks. Cape May Cafe is very easy to find. It's right here in the lobby of the Beach Club Resort just sat down at my table and the first thing I noticed that it is very humid in here you can see all that smoke over there and it is really filling up this room very very well so this is a New England style seafood restaurant and the decor really fits it you got the croquet the sandcastles beachy paintings on the walls something I find very funny is that there is carpet in this restaurant so it has like stuff you'd find on the beach but like this is a buffet where you're walking back and forth with food and even kids are holding their own plates and people like me who are just like klutzes I'm so afraid now like if I accidentally drop something I'm going to ruin this carpet I don't understand why they do this before you head up to the buffet, just wait for your server. My server brought me a bucket, I assume, for shells and stuff. Um, I only ordered a water, but let me show you the drink menu. They have a lot of specialty cocktails here, going from margaritas all the way to a Kentucky Mule, and even to a chocolate martini and sangria. And then they do have some non-alcoholic offerings. Lemonade, spritzer, another juice, and then on the back, a wine and beer list. All right, let's check out the buffet. First off, we have a salad bar, different types of salads, and then we have an ambrosia salad with almond and coconuts. We have some fresh fruit. Next, we have olives, and we're getting into the seafood. We have some peel and eat shrimp. We have some cocktail sauce that goes with it. There's a seafood pasta, and then a Caesar salad. Then we have some butter, and then herb garlic butter, some cornbread, and some fresh rolls. This is roasted lemon pepper chicken, mashed potatoes, red bliss potatoes. It's corn! Then we have some mussels, a big tub of clams, more shrimp, seafood broth. We have some toppings. This is Old Bay seasoning, cocktail sauce. Then we have the beef strip loin carving station. The sides for this are a creamy onion jam, horseradish, and a house-made chimichurri. Then we have some non-seafood options like pizza, meatballs, bow tie pasta, and it has marinara sauce on the side, and some Parmesan cheese. Then we have our kids area. There's chicken legs, that's ketchup, broccoli, and mac and cheese. Our last row of food, first we have seasonal vegetables, plant-based tofu and rice, pasta of the day, fried cod nuggets and tartar sauce, fried shrimp, sustainable fish, and seafood chorizo and chicken paella. I totally missed in the corner we have some New England clam chowder and a butternut squash soup. Also crab legs are made to order and they are $29 extra if you'd like them. Here is my haul. I got a little bit of all of like the unique stuff. I got the, the seafood salad, I got some clams, mussels, the paella, a fried fish nugget, some fried shrimp. I got a piece of the meat as well and the pasta of the day. Oh, and a piece of the chicken for some reason too, I don't know why. Well, let's just dig in and see what's good. First, let's try the seafood salad. Oh, that's good. It has a really good tang and nothing tastes like fishy. And yeah, it's just like a, got a lot of good crunch in it. Plus the bow tie pasta is really tasty with it. Very good seafood salad. I wanted to try the pasta of the day. It didn't say what it was. It just tastes like very like buttery and herby, and then you have a very soft, uh, juicy tomato with it. Not bad. I picked up one of the peel uh, and eat shrimp, and I just wanted to make sure it was cleaned because I really, I get so turned off if the shrimp is not cleaned, and it looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. I'm always worried about shrimp at buffets. I think it's fine. It doesn't seem like really anything wrong with it. It's not like chewing or anything. 
it's, it's a good pizza shrimp, I guess. I got myself a bowl of the seafood broth. I dropped my mussels and clams in there because that's the best part of doing mussels and clams is dipping it into a good sauce. Also, when I went back up, I forgot I wanted to try the New England clam chowder. How could you come to a New England style restaurant and not get the clam chowder? Mm, that's good. It's also nice and warm. Pretty good. I really enjoy the chicken in there. That and the celery together make a really good flavor combination plus the like bite of the celery. And then it's very creamy, I mean, and thick, which like a lot of people don't like New England clam chowder. I personally, I love it. Like I like both New England and Manhattan. I am technically more of a Manhattan girl, but I do like this. It is very heavy, but pretty good soup here. Good soup. And I feel like it's like you have to try it if you come here, right? Okay now, time to try a clam in the sauce. Not much on that clam, but they were kind of all like that where, um, oh, this one was like a, a slightly bigger. Let's try again. Not bad, they're, you know, they're kind of small. The broth itself isn't anything really spectacular. It's just very plain. It actually feels a little aesthetic, but yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's, I, I wish maybe there was like a, it was, in a sauce, like not a sauce, but like a broth, and, and kind of maybe give it a little more flavor to the actual clam itself. But I know since this is a buffet, everyone wants to probably do it a different way, so I understand that. But yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna try the mussel now because I prefer mussel anyway. I love mussels. That one tasted a little beachy to me. Like, not fishy, beachy, if you know what I mean. It's okay not the best mussel. Also, I prefer like to do mussels in a in a white sauce or a red sauce. This this broth is just really very flavorless. It's just kind of giving it a little saltiness, I, I guess. Again, also very acidic. Like I'm not feeling great from it like in my chest. Um it's I mean, it's a, you know, for a, you know, seafood buffets could be super expensive and this one is $46 a person. And the seafood buffet world, that's kind of considered low, so my expectations weren't super high. I mean, it's totally fine, standard. If you don't like do, like, I'm talking about like shellfish, the shellfish part. That part, you know, and the fact that crabs are 29 extra. It kind of makes sense. It's kind of like what I expected. It's all super fine. It's here for you. It's a nice, like, little treat that isn't too crazy of a price. But, I mean, let's try the rest of the food. I, because I, everything else does look good. The paella here is supposed to be very good. I've heard that the, um, the uh, fish nuggets are good. And let's try the meat. Let's keep going. Look at all of that in this muscle. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. That's good. The rice is really tasty. It has good like flavoring on there. Nice and salty. Goes well with the muscle. That particular muscle didn't taste like beachy to me like the other one did. That is very good so far. That has been my favorite thing that we've eaten is the paella. Fish nugget. This is very good. The breading on here is really, really tasty. The fish has really good flavor. It looks fresh. It's nice and crunchy. The flavor is good. It doesn't taste fishy at all. I haven't had like a fish stick type fish air thing in a really long time. And this is really good. Absolutely 100% get this if you come. Also, fried shrimp. Mmm, that batter is so good. It almost kind of reminds me of like a calamari uh, batter. Excellent. Go to fried options. Excellent. I did want to try the chicken. It's very salty. I'm always asking for seasoning in Disney and they gave it to me, <laughs> but it's too much. It's very salty, just like too much rub on there because the piece of chicken is very thin. I don't know if maybe if there was bigger pieces it may be better, but that I can't even eat more. Like it and the, the actual whatever rub that they're using is it, it's something is like uh, it is just not it is not feeling good up in here from, from taking a bite of that. That was not great. But let's see if we can end on a good note with the meat. I put the chimichurri sauce on it. Not bad. The meat's cooked fine, but there's not really any seasoning on it. <laughs> I know, the other thing was two season, this is kind of bland. But like it's cooked fine. I think I would just add more chimichurri sauce on it. I think they're just, I mean that's what happens with Disney buffets because there's just so many people. They just make everything very plain. But um, overall, not a bad meal. It's not the best seafood buffet in the world, but 
It's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely here for you if that's what you're looking to do in Disney. It could definitely be a special treat, especially if you have a big family. But we still have to go see dessert. Let's take a look at the dessert station. First up on a hot plate, we have bread pudding with creme and glaze. And we have a flourless chocolate Mickey dome, coconut chia pudding, eggnog cheesecake, apple tart, signature Oreo bonbons, gluten and wheat friendly chocolate layer cake, assorted cupcakes, those are so pretty, and sugar and chocolate chip cookies. I did get a few things to try. I did get the gluten free cake. Shout out to my gluten free people. I should be one of you and I just, I just don't, I just don't keep doing it. Um, I got the flourless Mickey Dome, chocolate Mickey Dome. I got the eggnog cheesecake, the Oreo signature bonbon, the coconut chia pudding, and the bread pudding with the cream sauce. I really am curious about this coconut chia pudding. I eat like chia pudding for breakfast, but like you know, made with almond milk and chia. Not really getting much coconut. They put, I didn't realize it was mango on the top. Um, and it just kind of overwhelms all of it, and I'm not the biggest mango fan, so it's, for me it's just okay, but if you like mango, it, it kind of just ends up being like a mango pudding. Here is the inside of the Mickey flourless chocolate cake. I normally don't like flourless cake because it just ends up being too chocolatey for me, but it had Mickey, so I had to do it. This looks so fudgy. Oh my god, it's just all chocolate. It's so rich. Actually, it tastes like dark chocolate. It's, it's a dark chocolate. Actually, it's not terrible because it's dark chocolate. When it's in milk chocolate, it's just sugar, sugar, sugar. Dark chocolate is a totally different taste. It's actually, I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, it is still cho too chocolatey for me, but dark chocolate is the way to go. Let's try the eggnog cheesecake. I wonder if we're gonna taste a difference or if it's just gonna taste like cheesecake. There's like a, a slight hint of it. But it mostly just tastes like regular cheesecake. But it's not like bad or anything. It's good. It's just, it's not like a strong eggnog flavor. Let's try the gluten free cake. Mmm. I love that. There's two different types of chocolate on there. The uh, lighter chocolate really gives it like a creamy, it has like, it's like a layer of creamy chocolate. It breaks it up, gives it a really good flavor. And they did use a gluten free um, like cake. It's, so it's not just like flourless. You know, it's, Gluten free. This is very good. Gluten free, friends. You have you have a good dessert here. We did it. I don't know if you noticed, but I was doing um, non chocolate chocolate, non chocolate chocolate. So up next, because we just had chocolate, is the bread pudding. Because uh, double chocolate in a row won't be good for me. So let's try this. Get all up in the sauce. That's good. Really good cinnamon spice on there. It's really, really spiced very well. It's very gooey in the middle. The sauce with it, it's just a really nice compliment. It's nice and light. The sauce is also spiced with cinnamon, so it's just a lot, a lot of cinnamon, but I really enjoy it. It's not like, like it doesn't seem overwhelming to me. Um, it may to somebody else. I think it's good though, and it's just like a nice soft bread and a good bread pudding. I want to see the inside of this Oreo bonbon. Oreos are my favorite cookie. Oh, that looks so good. I can't wait to try this. Let's do it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just eating cookies and cream and it's awesome. So it's like a really soft Oreo and then you have this just like extra bit of like chocolatey mousse to kind of give it some different like texture and like kind of mush it all together and it's just this ooey gooey Oreo creamy cookies and cream flavor absolutely delicious a kid just walked by and I overheard him say there were no Boston cream pies and I so I got you something else I was like I, I didn't think about it yeah I'm surprised I didn't do Boston cream pie but this is delicious this and the um, gluten-free one really really good bread pudding is good I and mean, everything was pretty good I just not a fan of mango dessert definitely shined here <sighs> I'm gonna get the bill and we'll wrap up here is the bill for one person, and I was able to apply my annual pass holder discount for 10%. So $44.09 before tip. Not bad for a Disney buffet. Well, my dudes, that was the Cape May Cafe here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. 
I think it's a very okay buffet. I was not wowed by it. There wasn't anything that I was like, oh, I love this, I love this, I have to come back for this. Not at all, unfortunately. Um, I mean, the Oreo thingy was good, and some of the desserts were good, but for the food itself, not really. The, the mussels and clams were just like, okay, they weren't like any particularly special. And that was like, you know, it's mussels, clams, and shrimp is like your seafood plus the sustainable and the fried. Like, I guess it's all seafood, but I don't know. It just didn't, it, nothing was really exciting. Nothing was really wowing. I think the $29 extra for crab legs is very high for crab legs, especially when you're already paying 46. So that's, I mean, I, I can understand maybe doing another upcharge, but I personally think 29 is a little excessive, but that's just my opinion. Um, I think that's probably why this to me felt like okay too, is that crab legs to me really make a seafood buffet um, and I just I was by myself I would did not need a whole order of crab legs and just spent an extra $29 because um, I pay for everything that you see here to review and I just I wasn't gonna do that uh, I was like that's a lot of extra money but I mean it wasn't a bad meal it just wasn't anything wow I think if you're looking to do a seafood buffet in Disney um, you know it's it's here for you it's fine I, it, again I just don't think it's gonna like blow your mind but let me know have you eaten here at Cape May Cafe before. What did you think of it? Have you done the breakfast? Maybe I should come back and do the breakfast with Minnie. I'd love to do that at some point. Uh, is this place somewhere you would like to visit? Do you pass it when you stay at Beach Club or is this also a dream stay for you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notifications so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out my Patreon. Become a patron, you'll get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, access to the Discord, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, help with trip planning, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this on this channel as I do personally fund everything you see here. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys can some hijinks very, very soon. Come to the bye.